This is Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update for June 21st. The Cambodia Securities Index continued its winning streak for the third straight day, rising 1.40 points to 409.68 on very light volume on the main board of just 98,948 shares. Total value traded on the main board was Khmer Real 593,400,030, or US dollar 140,000. Scenicville Autonomous Port was today's percentage gainer, rising 240 real or 2% to 12,320 real per share on very light volume of 5,497 shares traded. Volume leader Eclata Bank rose 40 real to 7,580 real per share on volume of 48,097 shares traded. The only stock in negative territory was Nam Pen Water Authority, which fell 20 real to 6,980 real per share. The stock has not been under 7,000 real per share since January of 2022. In company news, Seneville Autonomous Port announced its annual cash dividend of Khmer Real 77.73 per share for its Class B shares and Khmer Real 504 per share for its Class C shares. Shareholders of record on July 5th will be paid the dividend on July 16th. The company disclosed the total dividend payout ratio was 12.96%. In business news, the Royal Government of Cambodia is offering tax incentives for micro, small and medium-sized enterprises operating in the informal economy in order to encourage proper registration of their businesses with the Ministry of Commerce and the General Department of Taxation and to prompt unregistered businesses to join the formal economy. Subdegree number 113, enacted May 21st, seeks to ease requirements of compliance for currently informal businesses nationwide and ultimately initiate a consolidation of informal enterprises into the legal economy in coming years. Micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises that voluntarily register in the prescribed timeframes will be exempt from most penalties, fees, and tax obligations for extended periods. The tax incentives apply to business categories including wholesale, retail, repair, accommodation, food and beverage services, crafts, and agriculture. Tax incentives for those who voluntarily register are as follows. Micro enterprises that have voluntarily registered for tax between 2023 and 2028 will be exempted from tax registration fees and information update fees. micro size enterprises will also be exempt from income tax and minimum taxes for two years after the initial formal registration. Small enterprises that voluntarily register for tax between 2023 and 2028 will be exempt from penalties and tax liabilities for non-compliance prior to the registration and exempt from any tax registration fees and update fees. Medium-sized enterprises that voluntarily register for tax between 2024 and 2025 are exempted from penalties and tax liabilities for non-compliance prior to formal registration and will also benefit from exemption from income tax and minimum taxes for two years after their registration is lodged with the Ministry of Commerce and General Department of Taxation if they register in the prescribed time frame. Small and medium-sized enterprises which voluntarily register for tax in 2024 or 2025 are also exempt from paying patent tax for two years after formal registration. The subdecree stipulates that all such enterprises are still required to maintain full accounting records and submit tax returns as mandated by generally applicable tax laws and regulations. The National Bank of Cambodia reported that foreign direct investment, or FDI, rose 7.9% in 2023 to Khmer Real 197.8 trillion. China again took the top spot, representing 45.6% of all FDI. South Korea was in second place with 11.8%, followed by Singapore with 6.5%, Japan with 6.2%, and Vietnam with 5.3%. Financial activities represented 23.3% of all FDI, followed by manufacturing at 22.3% and real estate at 11.2%. The Khmer Real remains weak at 4,121 to the US dollar on an increasingly stronger US dollar index now at 105.78 as of the close of business in Cambodia today. Brent crude flat at US dollar 85.67 a barrel, pausing from a very strong run since June 3rd. 
Gold up US dollar 740 an ounce to 2,445 an ounce. Overnight, the Dow Jones Industrial Index was up 299.90 to 39,134.76. NVIDIA was in the news again. The mega chip designer's stock shed 3.5% Thursday, relinquishing its title as the largest company by market cap. The chip designer and artificial intelligence darling topped $140 a share Thursday morning. The Dow futures are down 53 points, indicating a softer New York open. This has been Anthony Galliano for B2B Cambodia with your market update for June 21st. Have a nice weekend.